All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honors and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the Son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few. The very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. All right. This lesson is going to be called Yahabasha was that cornerstone. Okay. Yahabasha was that cornerstone. He is that cornerstone. Okay. Which the wicked of our people rejected. Okay. Yeah, the wicked of our people rejected their own saviour. Okay. So we're going to start off on John 6. And. Go straight to verse 34. Okay. I think we we'll start at 33. Ye sent unto John. And he bear witness unto the truth. Speaking of John the Baptist. He even bear witness of the truth, Yahabashai. Which Yahabashai is the truth. Okay. You can't call yourself a man of truth, but you deny Yahabashai. Because he is the truth. But I receive not testimony from man. So even John's testimony. Right. Yahabashai didn't even really have need, need that. He didn't even need that. John to testify of him himself. Even though that was prophecy. But these things I say that you might be saved. He was a burning and shining light. Speaking of who? John the Baptist. And you were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have greater witness than that of John. For the works which the Father hath given me to finish. The same works that I do. So Yahweh Shai was glorifying the heavenly Father. Right? And it says, the same works I do bear witness of me that the Father hath sent me. Right, so Yahweh Shai, his works alone was enough to let people knew, know who he was. Okay, and it wasn't of his own works, he was glorifying the Heavenly Father, he wasn't glorifying himself. And the Father himself, say that's the Spirit which have sent me, have borne witness of me. Right, testimony, ye have never heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. Okay. Because you had Israelites at that time that were saying they knew the Most High. They saw the Most High. That the Most High was dealing with them one to one. And you have not his word abiding in you. And that was dwelling in you. For whom he sent, him ye believe not. So how can you say the Most High, the Most High, but you don't believe in his Son whom he sent for you? Verse 39, search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life. Because you would think, hold on. Before there was any New Testament, what was there? Old Testament. That's all there was. And within the Old Testament, Yahweh Shah was written. Okay. And they are they which testify of me. So even through the Old Testament, plenty of scriptures, plenty of chapters that testify of Yahweh Shai. Zechariah. What's it? One, excuse me, one and ten. Um, Genesis 49 on down. Isaiah 66 and 15. There's so many different scriptures. Right? So many scriptures that testify of Yahweh Shai. So it's not that they couldn't see it, it's just they didn't want to accept the Messiah. And you will not come to me that you might have life. See? That's that stubborn, that's that hardened. Their hearts were hardened. Okay. Just like them same individuals, them same Israelites that were in the wilderness. Their hearts were hardened to Yahweh Shai. I receive no honour from men. Saying about men what men think. Shadow arms are quam. Brilliant video elder. Yahweh Shah wasn't in that spirit. Didn't receive honour from men. But I know you that you have not the love of the most high in you. So Yahweh Shah knew he could read minds. Excuse me, that's my stomach. He could read minds. He knew what people are thinking about. Right? He knew of those that believed in him and those that did not. And I come in my father's name, if you receive and you receive me not, don't accept him. 
If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. So this other man can come in his own name. Excuse me, just a minute. Check this out. Sorry. I've received a lot of love. So we're on verse, where was it, where was it, where was it? Here it is, verse 43. He said, I'm coming in my father's name. And you would think, well, hold on. These men, these Old Testament, these non-Messianic Jews, that's what they were. You would think, hold on. Yahushua said, I'm coming in my father's name. He didn't say his own name. His father's name. Right? So him coming in his father's name, and they or what the most high, the most high, you would think they would receive him straight away. It was coming in the father, Abba, Abba's name, Yahweh's name. But they still didn't receive him, and you received me not. That's how he knew they were not real. They were not about Yahweh, they were not about the heavenly father. And if any man shall come in his own name, him will ye receive. Right? So Yahweh, he wasn't even coming in his own name. He was coming in the name of the Heavenly Father. And they still didn't receive him. If any shall come in his own name, him will you receive. So another man could just pop up on the scene, a false prophet, or anyone, and him will you receive, rather than Yahweh Shai. It's, it's, it's something else. How can you believe which you receive honour from one of another? How can you really believe if you receive an honor from one of another? Hmm? And seek not the honor that cometh from the Most High only. That's who you should be seeking the honor from. Right? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuses you, even Moses, in whom you trust. Right? Because they were in that spirit. Or were Moses' disciples. But had you believed Moses, you would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if you believe not his writings, how should you believe my words? So if you don't believe the writings, right, of Moses, which he wrote of Yahusha, how should you believe Yahusha's words? These individuals, they were not accepting Yahusha, right? They were not accepting him, Okay. They're actually coming up against him. Okay. Let's go to Peter's. I believe I believe it's Peter's. Right? Let's go to Second Peter's. And jump straight to actually go to first Peter's one and six. Wherefore it is also contained in the scripture, behold I lay in Zion, a chief cornerstone. And that chief cornerstone is Yahweh Shai. Elect, precious. And he that believe on him shall not be confounded. So those that fully believe in Yahweh Shai, they're not going to be confounded in these times. Unto you therefore which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, right? And those who are disobedient are those that are hardening, or they're slacking. Like Really, it's the Heavenly Father that's hardened them. Okay? The stone which the builders disallowed. So the rest of the builders, Israelites, Jews, disallowed. Right? The same is made ahead of the corner. Go into this word, disallowed. I'm going to get into these words as well. Disallowed to refuse praise, basically. To refuse opposite to refuse to receive to acknowledge to refuse to allow to refuse to approve or sanction in disagreement so that's what they were doing so a lot of people talk about so-called council culture that's 
Yahawashah had to go through that. They tried to counsel him out. They tried to X him out. Right? And that's what that cross is. That cross is, is an X. That's what it is. All right? It says, the stone which the Buddhists disallowed, the same is made ahead of the corner. So that same stone, which is the most important stone to build, they disallowed. So what are they building upon? That means they're building, they're building upon sand. Because you've got to build upon that stone, that rock. And the same is made the head of the corner, you have a shy. So without that head of the corner, what are you building upon? And a stone of stumbling. And that's why a lot of our people get offended when you bring out the words of Yahabai Shem, Yahabai Shai. And a rock of offense. So many of our people get what offended at Yahabai Shai. Why do you think they wanted to chuck him off a mountain? Why do you think they wanted to grab him up? Why? Because he was telling them the sweet things. Even to them which stumble at the words. And there's many that stumble. And that's a prayer. There's a prayer in what Psalms. Let the table become a stain and a stumbling block unto them. And be disobedient well today we're also appointed. So we know we're gonna have those some that we teach, and they're just gonna be disobedient and stubborn to this word. Okay. But ye are a chosen generation. So within Israel, there's a chosen generation that's been picked, that's been selected. A royal priesthood. And a holy nation and a peculiar people. Peculiar is different. I want to type in this word peculiar. Peculiar. I'll see what comes up. Excuse exclusively to one person. Special from Latin peculiaris. Peculiaris. Um, that's pretty much it. Special, different. And that's why you get looked at differently. Okay, Un unusual. Maybe just maybe just with it. Unusual, uncommon, distinguished, special. Right? So yeah, of course you're gonna stand out. Right? Because you're not doing what everybody else is doing. You're not following the crowd. Like you should show forth the praises of Him, who have called you out of darkness, who Yahweh shine into His marvelous light. So you have those that were for Yahweh Shai and you had those that were against. Yahawashai. Okay. The scriptures say this. The scriptures let us know. Right? And you should be able to identify who those men are today that were with Yahawashai and who those men that were against Yahweh. It's easy. Isaiah 53. He is despised and rejected of men. Hold on. Our, our Lord say was despised. Yeah, he was despised. Right? Oh, yeah, he had followers. Right? But, but the majority of the world at that time, remember that was the Roman Empire. And rejected of men. What men? We, we already went into that. Disallowed indeed of men. Right? Those that were on the high seats, they had a position to maintain, which was there locked in the Roman Empire. And that's what happened when that's what happens when you're highly esteemed in another man's kingdom. You're gonna be seeking to uphold yourself. Rather than Yahavashai. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. So Yahavashai also had sorrows. Right? Yahavashai really also had sorrows. So even when you see brethren in this truth that are somewhat sorrowful, you shouldn't you shouldn't be um making fun of brothers. That means you're making you could be making fun of Yahavashai. Certain things you see in this truth is like, bro, what are you doing? Scripture says he was a man of sorrows. He didn't stay in that state. But when brothers are sorrowful, you shouldn't be adding unto their aff affliction. The scripture says that in some in the Apocrypha, add no, add no more sorrow to um, a distressed heart, paraphrasing, and acquainted with grief. He was associated with those two emotions. These are emotions. Sorrow and grief are emotions. When we hid, as it were, our faces from him. So you had Israelites, they didn't want to know Yahabashai. They hid their faces. Right? He was despised and we esteem him not. Surely I had borne our griefs and carried our souls, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten and and afflicted. But he was wounded. Okay? For our transgressions. Alright? 
He was bruised for our iniquities and chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. And today, guess who this begins with? The elect on this side. The wicked, those that are denying Yahweh Shai, they're not healed. They're still in their sickness. Through his stripes we are healed. Ultimately in the kingdom, all of Israel are going to be right. But the first thousand years, the wicked, they're going to have their heads down. Because they wanted to maintain themselves here. They didn't want to repent. Go to Acts. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. This is Acts 3. And jump straight to 13. And this is when Peter and John were healing the lame man. And you had particular Jews that saw it and they fell a particular way. And the power of Abraham and Isaac and of Jacob... And the power of our fathers have glorified his son, Yahweh, whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate. So they delivered Yahweh, we go into the Gospels, they will let you know what they were doing, right? And they desired, who did they desire? I forgot who, what was it? I think it was Barabbas. Yeah, they desired Barabbas, someone who was of the world. That's who they desired. So our people, they desire the people of the world rather than Yahweh Shai. And that's why men speak, a lot of men, they speak of the world. They can tell you more about Volcab, who's, he's of the world, he's insignificant. And, and Ye, Kanye. They glorify them more than Yahweh Shai. Who delivered up? It was our own people that delivered up Yahweh Shai. Because they had demons on them. And denied him. In the presence of Pilate, in the presence of an Edomite, when he was determined to let him go. So Pilate even wanted to let Yahweh go. But the, the demons in them, remember what they were saying? Crucify him! Cruci That's what they were saying, crucify him! They were raging. But he denied the Holy One and the, and the just. Right? Just means upright and desired, a, that's it, a murderer. He was a murderer. Right? To be granted unto you. So they, they would rather a murderer than Yahweh Shai. That, that's what they rather than Yahweh Shai. That shows you the extent of wickedness of our people. And kill the Prince of Life. Who the Most have raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. And Peter and John were witnesses to them. As well as Mary. And his name through faith, in his name have you made this man strong, the man that was healed. Who we see and know, yea, the faith which is by him, and hath given him this perfect silence to the presence of you all. And now, brethren, I wot that through ignorance you did it, you gave up your Havashah through ignorance. Because you did have those that were in on it. Now guess what? They were, they were of the elect. As did also your rulers... Gave up your what gave up Yahushua, but those things which the Most High before has showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Moshe should suffer, he hath so fulfilled. That's when it was fulfilled, fulfilled through what prophecy? That prophecy is Isaiah 53, it was fulfilled right then. Repent ye therefore, so there is repentance for those that were some, some, a small minority that were against Yahushua. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come and Yahweh Shai um, renews from the presence of the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shai. And he shall send Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which before was preached unto you. So, yes, there is still repentance. All right, for our people. Okay. And this really, really does show you what Yahweh Shai had to go through. And it wasn't just Yahweh Shai. You had Stephen, you had Paul that was going through a lot of things. And when you actually read these scriptures, the Gospels, who was it that was coming up again? Who was the main opposition? Israelites that had a Bible. That were in the faith. Well, you know what? I'm not going to say that. They were not in the faith because then they wouldn't have done it. Okay. So with this, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, shout out to the hopeful elect. Shout out.